Hi fellow dog fanciers, thank you for being patient with me during the last two weeks which were definitely not easy and also thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of your support through comments and emails. I can't find the words to express how grateful I am to all of you and how much I appreciate you. If you're wondering what happened, I made a post which you can find in the community section of the channel. Please forgive me, I'm a weakling and I can't talk about it yet. I will also skip the intro just this one time. But making videos and talking about whippets brings me a lot of joy, so I decided it's time to come back and with a positive topic. When you love someone and you ask yourself, why them? What makes them so special? You can probably find words to describe a part of the reasons. Others are stuck in your subconscious and you can't find the right words to explain. To be fair, I love everything about whippets and they are my spirit animal. But today I'll give you seven reasons why I think they are the best dogs and why I love them so much, to the point I will never own another breed. Actually, let's make this video a tribute to whippets. You can tell me in the comments what you love about them. Life is very tricky. Thinking back 17 years ago, I thought whippets were very ugly and I could never in a million years imagine myself owning one of these skinny, weird-looking things. My ideal dogs were large, heavy and long-coated and anything that didn't fit this description was not a dog in my opinion. Very insulting, I know. And then one day we got to spend a few hours with one of these ugly whippets. Her name was Daisy and she changed our lives. 15 years later, the idea of owning any other dog feels like a bad impulsive decision that will never happen and also betrayal to myself and my pack. Not that they would mind accepting a different looking dog in their family, but it just feels wrong. There are so many breeds I love and admire, but why would I own a different one when I can just have another Whippet? So let's start with the very obvious. One of the very first things that caught us by surprise when we met Daisy was she smelled like nothing. We had a golden retriever and a Newfoundland at the time and like most dogs they had a doggy smell, which is completely normal. Never in my wildest dreams could I imagine there is a dog with no odor. At most, they faintly smell like baby chicks if you bury your nose deep in their coat. That's also one of the reasons why having a large pack is no big deal. Their coat is short and silky smooth, you can have a whippet in your lap, hug and pet them for hours and you won't get tired of it. Because they're so clean, no matter how long you pet them, your hands won't feel dirty either. This combined with their medium size makes them the perfect huggable, cuddly, living plush toys. Not that I treat them like toys, as you know, it's just how I like to describe them from time to time. Beauty is subjective. For those of us who admire the breed, they're stunning. For others, they might be ugly, just like I thought years ago. To me, they're a gorgeous combination of elegance and strength, with their long legs and necks, deep chest and muscles, not to mention their beautiful expressive faces. And let's not forget their speed. I have yet to meet a person who is not wowed as soon as they witness them running. Even I am, after 15 years of watching them do what they do best every single day. And in their case, beauty comes with brains, very stubborn brains sometimes, which they use in their own favor and against you most of the time. Whippets are just as gentle, soft and silky on the inside. Before we met Daisy, we were used to large dogs that made their presence known at all times. Whether that was by entering the room like a hurricane with a toy in their mouth and their large feathery tails wagging all over the place, or by not acknowledging any humans, objects or children in the room and walking right through them, which was a Chelsos, our Newfoundland favorite hobby. There is nothing wrong with that, of course, all breeds are adorable in their own way. 
but when Daisy walked outside to greet us, her movements, attitudes and even energy, if you will, were different than those of any other dog we were used to. She felt more like a cat than a dog. She jumped on the couch and in the gentlest, most quiet way, curled up right next to us. That was her way of showing us love. So whippets are just so regal. They behave like royalties and like you owe them. They don't feel the need to prove a point with anything else other than their existence and their noble temperament. And that shows through everything they do, which leads me to... <laughs> Most whippets are not the tail wagging type. I say most because there are exceptions, like our Brady. They will get very excited when you come home, but other than that, they will express their love to you in alternative ways. Some are not even the kissing kind. Brady and Ivy don't like to give kisses and it's almost like they find humans gross. Understandable. The love of the whippet is just as delicate and royal as they are themselves. They might demand some attention, they might shadow you or stand by your side with their sad eyes, which is a clear indication it's time to pay your taxes in cuddles. And sometimes they will just jump on the couch or bed and quietly curl up next to you. Other times they just want to be in the same room as you, not necessarily in your lap, but just within the same space because they love you and are sticky velcro dogs. Occasionally you will catch them staring at you, as if they think, wow, this mortal human is such an unbelievably bad servant, but I adore them. All of that means love, the type of love I will accept any second of the day. The body language of the whippet and many other sight hounds is often different than that of your regular dog. I'm certain they can puzzle the most confident of dog psychologists and I sometimes wonder why we don't see them in the videos of TikTok and YouTube famous dog trainers. Maybe they don't even try to include them as they know they will make fools of themselves. Or sight hound owners are smart enough to not trust a trainer who is not sight hound savvy. And perhaps I'm completely wrong. Let me know what you think. They express various emotions, their state of mind in a different way and their communication with other dogs makes them look like aliens to those who aren't familiar with the breed. Eris loves other dogs, especially boys, but she acts like a weirdo when she's excited. She's hunched, her tail is under her belly and she makes those hysterical quick movements. And so the reaction I get from the other owners is, oh the poor thing, she is so scared. Oh my friend, if you could only understand how happy and over the moon she is. When they're annoyed, bored or don't want to be where they are at a particular moment as they want to do their own thing, to the untrained eye they look anxious. And since most of them don't care about strangers who are used to be greeted with excitement by every random dog they see, whippets are often labeled as scared. Well, that's not the case. They simply pick and choose who will be honored with their attention. Their facial expressions are so animated. When they're happy, content, unhappy, frustrated, sad, worried. Their ears, eyes and eyebrows will tell you the whole story. To me, understanding the whippet is like art in a way. And mastering it has brought me a very unusual type of joy. Being headstrong and wanting to do what they want comes with different moods. That's especially noticeable with females, who sometimes wake up on the wrong side of the bed and have a list of demands for everyone around them. They are hilarious with their reactions to situations that rub them the wrong way and those that cause them drama. Someone stole their toy or bed or their playtime was interrupted. They had a lovely walk and the wind came without a warning and ruined everything. Or you're too busy to give them love. There is never a dull moment with whippets around and it's almost impossible to get bored if you share your home with them. Not to mention they have opinion about everything and they're not afraid to express it. <coughs> Woo! <laughs> 
Whippets are clowns. There is humor in everything they do, even when they sleep. They always find a way to make me laugh. They're funny when they play with each other or on their own. And since I mentioned drama, yes, they're even comical when being dramatic or overreacting. To me, they're talented comedians and it's impossible not to love them. As I was reminded a while ago, you need to have a sense of humor to own a whippet. But if you don't have any, they will help you grow some. And I'm all about people and animals who can make me laugh. And whippets make sure I meet my daily endorphin requirements. And this is a tiny percentage of the reasons why I love Whippet so much. I might make a part two at some point. But as I mentioned, there is not one thing I don't adore about this breed. Some reasons are just not as easy to explain other than I love them because they're Whippets. If a guy ever hears me say I love you almost as much as a Whippet, this will be the biggest compliment in their life. If that doesn't prove a point, I don't know what does. So, I think that's enough for today's video. Have a lovely weekend and a fantastic week afterwards and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye-bye!